Hello everybody, um, welcome to my channel. This is a video to compare the sound of the audio from the Apple MacBook A1 Pro versus a standard condenser microphone. Um, I do have the Newman TLA-103 and also the U87. And, and I probably can say that you can record voiceover using the microphone of the computer or even vocals by using Logic Pro, GarageBand, Live, or even Pro Tools. It all depends on the proximity of you have by the time you're recording the audio. For instance, if you start going a little bit back away, it's gonna sound like this. It's gonna sound like you're far away. But when you start recording like this, that's right. What you're listening is actually the internal microphone of the Apple N1 Pro, and it's fantastic. I mean, the music, when you play music on this computer, it already sounds amazing. But I didn't expect the microphone to be this good. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if I want to do a comparison with, an, uh, with the condenser microphone because it sounds a full reach as it is. It, like I say, it depends on how close you are to the computer. Also, what I'm, what I'm doing is actually I'm using um, a pop stop filter so that way my, the air that comes out of my mouth doesn't hit the microphone so that way it doesn't distort it. So that's a good tip prop that you can use. Like I say, you can do voiceovers if you're an audio editor for videos and you need to do a voiceover just do it here honestly if you're a musician you're traveling and you're um on a creative move you know you're waiting let's say you're touring but you want to write songs in the, in the tour during the tour and then you come up with an idea you can just record straight through here that means less equipment to bring on the road for anybody for videographers or musicians or just aficionados in my case I was planning to bring my, my interface, but I'm not gonna bring it because um, I think it, this is all I need. I mean, honestly, it sounds good as it is, so that way it's less stuff that I had to bring with me, less weight on my luggage, less weight, you know, my, my luggage when traveling, and I can bring something else. But anyway, so this is the way it sounds, uh, and I'm really surprised, amazingly surprised the way it sounds. It sounds full, rich, and it's ready to just to be processed. I mean, good technique and we, we practice, I think you can get amazing results out of this one. Anyway, so basically I'm recording the audio straight into DaVinci Resolve as it is right now and this is the way it sounds. So up next I'm going to record acoustic guitar and see how that sounds. <laughs> A quick tip, if you want to adjust the level of the preamp or the microphone, uh, you can go to System Preference at the bottom, click on Sound or the icon with the speaker, and then on the Input tab, you can adjust the level of the preamp by, by moving the slider to the right or to the left accordingly. In my preference, I, use, I usually use it on the first line, uh, but if you notice, if I move it to the second line of the meter, you notice that you start clipping, but if you go all the way to the right, it actually will clip all the time. So my best setting for me is to put them on the first line of the meter, so that way it will prevent from clipping. Okay, so um, I didn't do a comparison with the Newman UR7 or the TLM-103 because if it sounds good, it is good. And I proved that is that I recorded a voiceover for this video using the microphone on this computer. Um, and that's pretty much it guys um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe to my channel put a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions and i'll see you next video thank you bye bye